Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, got kind of reminded of that the other day for... Anyway, thank you, Crazy45Cat. <laughs> you got some great videos, brother. But anyway, I thought I'd bring out my handguns. You've seen a lot of them. And there's some that you haven't seen. Um, there's the, the XD45. You guys have seen that one. You've seen a little Derringer. There's a few here you haven't seen. You've seen the Kimber. You haven't seen the XD 9mm some compact yet. Uh, you've seen the Smith 686 Plus. You've seen the little Caltech. Uh, that's a little armorness I'll get back to here in just a minute. There's my little Ruger 22 long rifle, Mark III Hunter. Very accurate, like shooting it a lot. There's the 686 4 inch 357. There's a little H&R uh, uh, 22. I'll get back to that also here in a minute. Uh, but like I said, I haven't made a video for a while, so I thought I'd just bring my handguns out and uh, make a real short video on them. Let me move some of these around. Okay, here's the kel 380. You've already seen it, so I'm going to lay it to the side. Here's the Kimber 45 ACP. You've seen it, so I'm going to lay it to the side so I can just make room for the camcorder. So I'm going to set the camcorder down here the best I can anyway. Let's get him adjusted. All right, now let's see. Okay, first let's just well, move one or two more out of the way. Here's my little XD subcompact 9mm. I've had this about, I bought it in 2002, I think. So I've had it about eight years. And it's got the old finish. Some of you XD guys know what I'm talking about before they changed over to the, I can't pronounce the word, met, Metro something or another. Kind of like that, whatever T Teflon or Teflon, whatever that Glock's got, but I don't think it's as good as Glock's, the new finish. But this is the old finish, and people used to fuss about rusting, and I guess a lot of dust because I haven't packed it or shot it in a while. I've seen some guys do have rust on their slides from the older XDs, but I never did. <laughs> I bought this in, in 2002, and I paid retail price for it. $379.95. Brand new. Less than $400. Can't find that no more. You'll, you see wear. Because I, I, I carried it quite a while. I like this gun a whole lot. There's, there's wear around the end of the frame there around the muzzle on top of the barrel there but anyway I got in the it came it came with this and it came with an uh, actually this one didn't I bought they had to buy the external or the the uh, extra mag you know the one that holds the 15 with the extension grip that comes down right there but this one came with two 10 rounds that's what's in it right now just because it's in the safe but there's my XD9 like I said you guys have already seen the XD 45 there it is great guns I love the XD uh, line of handguns put him away all right now I want to bring up this little H&R 22 this gun is actually older than I am I'm soon to be 37 this is the first pistol I ever shot in my life it was my dad's he gave it to me actually I asked him if I could keep it or I could, if I could have it uh, because I've got a, you know, the safe, you know, it's uh, 1,200, it's rated 1,200 degrees for 30 minutes, you know, in a fire. So I wanted to keep this in my safe because they, he don't he don't have a safe. He's got like a, a gun cabinet, you know, made out of wood and glass. So I just wanted to keep this. He told me to just go ahead and just keep it. It's, it's mine, he said. So, but anyway, it's a nine shot, 22 long rifle, nothing special, bull barrel. Uh, I just like it because it was the first one I ever shot. You know, I think I was 10, 9, 9 or 10 years old. I can't remember. Uh, really nothing special. It's the, it's the target model because it's got the little thumb wrist right here. You see that? Hey, but anyway, it's like I said, I just wanted it because the first one I ever shot. <laughs> and I think when I was 11 or 12, back when Walmart still sold handguns, he took me to Walmart 
in uh, the next city that we lived in at the time and took a few hundred dollars and let me pick out my first handgun that I wanted. He said it had to be a 22, you know. So I said, cool, you know, that's all right. So I picked this one out. You know, this is 20 something years ago. Uh, auto 22s were, you know, weren't around a whole lot, or at least not at Walmart at the time. So I picked this Arminus out. It's made in Germany. It's a, I think it's a eight shot. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna open the cylinder. Uh, eight shot 22 long rifle. I had a blast with this when I was a kid. Both my mom and dad trusted me with it. They actually let me keep it under my mattress, you know, in my bedroom, loaded, because uh, I was I was I was really responsible. My dad taught me well. Uh, it's this. You hear that? It needs to be tightened up almost all the time. A couple of little Allen screws there. But anyway, I had a blast with this. I never shot nobody. I never shot no dogs or nothing like that. But I really like. I really enjoyed it, and I was so happy that they trusted me. Let's see if I make sure it's unloaded. Okay, two, four, six. Yeah, it's eight shot. Eight shot twenty-two. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you guys have already, well, you haven't seen this one except for that little slideshow that I had. It's a Ruger uh, Mark III Hunter model, Hunter model. I've got a little uh, Tasco silver scope that sometimes I'll put on it. You can see it's drilled and tapped at the top, but I just prefer to shoot it open sights because it's accurate as all get out. Like right there, bang, and it's, you know, your target's hit. Yeah, it's empty. I've had this one, I don't know, just two or three years, I guess, but <laughs> I like Ruger 22s. They're fun. I just wish they made uh, higher capacity magazines. You know, 10 rounds and a 22 don't last very long. But anyway, there's the 22 Hunter. And you guys have seen pretty much everything else. Give one more little quick scan. I've got to move it all around now. There's a little Derringer. Caltech 357. Kimber 45. XD 9mm. Alright guys. Well anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.